This is the first fully functional film camera made entirely of LEGO pieces. That's right, it's a LEGO creation that can actually take photos using 35mm film. We'll explore how the camera works and speak about both the positives and the not-so-great aspects of using a LEGO camera. The ZH1 looks like a toy, but it's a real functioning camera, designed by Zheng Hong, a LEGO fan that made this camera as a personal project. This is an important point. This is not an official LEGO product but it could become one once Zeng's project get recognition from the LEGO company. My camera is one of the very few units Zeng created. He sent me one for testing. This project is a dream come true for LEGO lovers and photography enthusiasts. The fact that someone could engineer this out of standard LEGO pieces, including a fully functioning shutter, lens and film winding mechanism, is mind-blowing. And it's also customizable. You can swap out the colors, modify the shape and make it your own. The lens of the camera is actually a LEGO magnifying glass making this build 100% made of LEGO pieces. Loading the film takes a bit of care. But it did not really present any challenges. After shooting two rolls of film, I sent them to my favorite lab and waited for the result, wondering if there would be any image on the film at all. And when I got the results, I was blown away.
build quality is impressive, but it's also fragile. Lego bricks aren't exactly known for their durability under stress. And after some usage, parts can loosen or even fall off. You definitely have to be careful while handling it. One wrong press and you might accidentally dislodge a piece. As you can see in these photos, the camera struggles with focus. The lens system is rudimentary and the shots are often a bit blurry. Shooting in low light? Forget it. This thing is made for bright outdoor settings. One of the biggest challenges with the LEGO camera is its manual shutter speed. You need to be quick when pressing the shutter button, especially in bright lighting conditions. If you hold the shutter open for too long, you risk overexposing your photos, resulting in washed out and blurry images. Timing is everything here. You have to press the shutter quickly to capture the moment just right. This adds a level of difficulty, but it can also be part of the fun for those who enjoy the hands-on aspect of photography. As an example, we both try to shoot the same image. Marielle pressed the button for too long, while I tried to press it as quick as possible. But this is far from easy, even for experimented photographers. Framing with this camera is pretty difficult, as the viewfinder is rudimentary. Many shots were badly framed, because I was using the top 45mm viewfinder and forgetting about the original LEGO finder. So, what's the verdict? Is the LEGO ZH1 film camera something you need in your life? Well, if you are a LEGO enthusiast and a film photography hobbyist, then yes, it's a fantastic project and conversation piece. It's fun, creative, and full of vintage charm. However, if you're looking for a serious camera to capture high-quality images, you will want to stick with your standard film or digital camera. But for me, the sheer joy of being able to say I took real photos with a LEGO camera, that's priceless. Just be prepared for a few challenges along the way. If you want to see how I build a lens for my mirrorless camera out of LEGO, check this video.